So it's been a wee while now since Stealth Bombers actually got bomb launchers in Eve Echoes. And I say a wee while, it's probably been an entire month at this rate. I've not been keeping track, but Stealth Bombers are now actually able to launch bombs in Eve Echoes. So I figured for today's video, let's actually have a look at Stealth Bombers and their battleship counterparts, the new battleship bombers, and see what exactly is going on, how they all work and stuff like that. Now, for this video, I have done a little bit of reading up on bombs and how they work just ahead of time, but I've not actually launched a single bomb yet. So we're gonna be finding out together just exactly how bombs work in Eve Echoes now that we've got them. But before we do, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to support this channel and uh, we shall move on into uh, checking out how bombs work. So first and foremost, we're gonna head over to the ship tree because as I alluded to, stealth bombers aren't the only ships that can launch bombs. So what do I mean about that? Well, if we head over to battleships, specifically the new Tech 10 battleship, we'll notice, and each of the factions have their own bomber. In this particular case, Amar have the Abaddon bomber. And it can be fitted with the missile launcher bombs. That's right, missile launcher bomb. So yeah, it, it can fit it. It's got five high slots. So uh, most likely you're gonna be having four lasers, one bomb. I don't have one of these battleships, unfortunately. I did not partake in that particular event where you'd got one in a box. So I won't be showing off one of those today. But what I will be showing off is the stealth bombers themselves, the actual ones that have been called stealth bombers for four years now without actually having bombs. So we're gonna have a look at them. But first, what I'm gonna show you, before I show you the actual stealth bomber, we're gonna start at the bottom. And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate to you. So the regular purifier, I don't know why I clicked on that Dragoon then, cannot run a bomb launcher. The purifier 2 cannot run a bomb launcher. Only the purifier 3, the tech level 10 ship, can actually fit bomb launchers as we can see right here, the missile launcher bomb. Again, the naming is a little bit different. I'll keep on calling it the bomb launcher because that's what it does. That's what we call it in back in the EVE Online days. But it's not a bomb launcher. It's a missile launcher bomb. That is the naming of it. And ever so quickly, I'm just going to set up another light because I can see... There we go. Oh. There we go. You, you, you're seeing me faff around with my own lighting setup live yay anyway i'm just trying to eliminate this haze around me it's not always easy uh, especially when the lighting changes because the sun moves around outside but let's let's get back to the video shall we so only the tech level 10 ships can actually launch bombs if you're an alpha pilot that's wanting to run around and try out this new toy i'm sorry tech level 10 only you just gotta bide your time i guess so now that we know that our tech level 10 stealth bombers and the new tech level 10 battleships can launch bombs. Let's have a look at the fittings menu and see what is going on here. And the first thing that you'll notice is up at the top, alongside your regular weapons, you have the bomb launcher's own dedicated slot in yellow. And yes, it is dedicated because if I click on that slot and I try to fit this piffy large uh, torpedo launcher which is the same as what I've got in the other three slots simply tells me that this slot can only fit specific types of modules so this slot is dedicated to the bomb launcher you cannot fit anything else there so yeah th there's no trade-off for having it there other than the cost of actually getting the bomb launcher itself and it can be a little bit on the expensive side as we can see at the moment in game, we're looking at about 222 million isk to buy one off of the in-game market. Where do they spawn? Where do we get them from? I honestly don't know outside of the event in which they dropped. So we're not gonna be covering that particular detail today because that will consist of about 20 or 30 minutes of me just reading through the patch notes, trying to figure out where it drops. So let me know in the comment section below if you happen to know where exactly it drops. Now, the next thing that is worth mentioning with the bomb launcher is we need ammunition 
and you will notice the Purifier 3 has an ammo hold. That's right, a dedicated space for storing ammunition. As you can see at the moment, I'm, I currently have six electron bombs, the Mark 1 variant, and two of the Mark 2 variants of Scorch bombs. Now, if Taylor Rick is watching this, he's probably going to point out that I've got the worst possible bombs I could possibly get. And that is true. That is very true. I've got the worst possible bombs, but that is because I am planning on wasting them. Because I'm not going to be going out of my way to find someone to drop bombs on, because that would take me a while. And the odds are when I actually launch bombs at someone, I'm not going to have software recording. And I'll just be, you know, I'll be killing myself just thinking, why didn't you have, why didn't you have it recording? So anyway, what we're going to find out now is how the bombs actually perform out in space. So I'm going to hit on dock and uh, pray this actually loads in town while I get a quick drink. So, I'm currently in a 0.5 system, so in high sec. Can I launch these bombs in high sec? I doubt that I can, but we're going to start off by warping to a random anomaly. Let's call it, I don't know, 50, 60 kilometers, somewhere around there. And we're going to see if we can actually launch this bomb. And while we're here, you can actually see that we can change ammunition. So here, let's say I want the Scorch Bomb. I'm going to swap that in. And we have a little loading window just there. Now, bombs work by us just simply pointing in a direction, or at least that's how it should work. So we're going to point it in a direction. We're not going to actually lock onto anything. We're just going to point and I'm going to press the launch button. And unfortunately, you cannot do that because it is currently against Empire policy to launch, anchor or control objects of that type within their jurisdiction. OK, we expected that. It's an area of effect weapon. We expected to not be able to actually use this in high sec, which is why I'm in a system that borders a low sec system. So we're going to jump into low sec now and actually see if these bombs work in low sec. Right, so now that we're in a low sec system, we are going to go and find ourselves another anomaly just to go and innocently drop a bomb on, just for demonstration. Now again, we're not actually going to be able to see anything get damaged, because I'm not going to be locking onto anything and I'm probably going to be launching it too far away, to be honest. But let's see what the effects are like, and I have just hit cloak so that I can go into the graphics and make sure that my settings are high enough that I can actually see any special effects. I'm not going to put it too high because that will probably just stress out my poor tablet. So let's decloak. We are going to point at this pithy condor and we're going to launch a bomb. And once again, we cannot do it because we are on low sec. So what we've just discovered is we cannot launch bombs in high sec or low sec. High sec, I expected. Low sec, I was kind of half expecting would be able to, because that would be quite interesting if we could. But we cannot. We cannot launch these things in low sec. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head to another system whereby there is a null sec gate. We're going to jump through that null sec gate and just try launching the bomb from there. So until that moment, we are just going to hit fast forward and... In the meantime, while we hit fast forward, I'm going to play around with the lighting. Okay, so we are back and we are about to jump into a null sec system. So we know we can't launch in high sec. We know we can't launch in low sec. We have established that now. So now we're going to go and demonstrate how to launch it in null sec. We know that we can launch it in there. What we don't know though, or at least what we haven't demonstrated yet, is what happens to the ammunition. Now, I suspect that the ammunition is consumed, because why would you have an ammo hold otherwise? Um, I expect that it will be consumed, but we are about to find out. So we are going to head over to a random small anomaly. Let's keep the risk to a minimum, shall we? It's not like we're actually trying to do some ratting in this. So I'm just going to head to a random small anomaly and launch a bomb. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to launch a bomb and see what happens. So as soon as we get there, now it is worth noting whilst we warp there, that if we have a look at the bomb launcher itself, it states that we are unable to cloak while activated. 
So that is the limitation. Once we've activated it, we have a activation time of about seven seconds. So during those seven seconds, we're going to be unable to launch the bomb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to point in the direction of this planet, not in the direction of these NPCs. We're going to launch the bomb. And there goes the bomb in theory. Uh, what's going on? There we go. Okay, so there is a delay. There is an activation time during which the bomb is like preparing to launch. As we can see, it's still moving at the moment. And there's the explosion. So now let's warp away before these things actually catch up to us. So did that use up our ammunition? I believe it did. So let's have a look at the ammunition. We currently have six and one. If I load in, we're on a cooldown. We have to currently wait over a minute before we can actually launch another one or even insert another bomb. So let's have a look at what's going on whilst we await for this cooldown. So as we discovered just then, we have an activation time of seven seconds in my case. It does change depending on your skills and we will get to that. So we have a activation time during which we have to wait for the bomb to actually prepare to then launch. After that, we have, in my case, 102 seconds before I can launch another bomb or even before I can load another bomb into the launcher. After that, the bomb just moves at a certain pace for a little while before then exploding. And you have to do your best to make sure you don't fly straight into your own explosion because Nettie's literally refers to it as a solo combat or solo kill. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, once the bomb has left your bomb launcher, we then go on to the bomb's own statistics. So this, I do not believe, is going to be affected by skills or nano cores or anything like that. It is completely independent of your skills once it has left your ship. So what have we got? With this Scorch Bomb, we have 10,000 damage of thermal. We have a flight velocity of 2,500 meters per second, and it moves for 10 seconds. Once it reaches its spot, it's got its usual explosion radius, which you'd kind of expect anyway, because it is an exploding object. But it has an area of effect radius of 15 kilometers, and it can hit as many targets as possible. That said, there will be a limit. I just don't know how many. Um, it will hit the majority of the ships in 15 kilometers. So if you're lining towards a good old like fleet that's you know, hunkered around, say, a Guardian or some Lodgy or something. Perfect. If they're all within that 30, 15 kilometer and you aim the bubble right down the middle, you can hit quite a lot of things. Are you going to kill them all? Probably not. If, if it's a bunch of lower level pilots in frigates and destroyers, then you might one shot them all. But this is meant to be used as a group tactic. And what we're going to do ever so quickly is we're just going to have a quick look at skills just to see what skills this particular uh, bomb launcher can take advantage of. So under weapon technology, we have bomb and bomb deployment, advanced bomb deployment, and its expert variant. Now, all these do, as we can see, if I don't click on them too fast to click them away again, missile launcher bomb activation time. That's the time it takes for the bomb to actually fire, you know, before it actually leaves the tubes. And the missile launcher bomb restart time. That's all that is affected by these skills. Nothing to do with damage. It's all about how quickly you can fire it and then how quickly you can reload. And this is quite important because once you decloak, because you have to decloak to be able to launch the bomb. The moment you decloak, you are exposed to the enemy. They can lock onto you, they can fire at you. And if they lock onto you within two seconds and one shot you, with their, let's say it's an apocalypse navy issue that you're launching a bombing run at. That could probably take out a couple of bombers just with its lasers in the time that it takes for the bomb launcher to charge up. It, it could be quite deadly. So you want to get that activation death time down as low as you can 
so that you minimise how long you're exposed for. Because, as I said, you have to decloak. You have to decloak before you can actually launch this bomb. As we're about to demonstrate now, I'm just going to try, once it's loaded in this bomb that I've just loaded, I'm going to try to launch the bomb whilst uncloaked. And as you can see, the cloaking device is interfering. So I have to decloak and then launch the bomb, but I have to wait for it to launch for that set amount of time. The moment it's launched, you need to warp away. And what you might have noticed when I was loading that ammunition ever so just is I have one less ammunition than before. That Scorch Bomb that dealt exclusively thermal damage, I no longer have because the ammunition was actually consumed. Now we've been pestering, well I say wait, a lot of us have been pestering netties to give us consumable goods within this game, consumable ammunition, whereby when we go into a fight we have to bring our ammo with us and if we run out of ammo we have to go back to base and get some more. If we don't have any more we have to get the indie guys to actually build it for us. This is something that we've wanted for quite a while in Eve Echoes because it's more minerals being consumed from the market, it's more reason for miners to go out and mine instead of going out and ratting. And it's a constant form of consumption that doesn't require new content to be constantly made. So I'm quite enjoying the look of these stealth bombers and the fact that this ammunition is consumable. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I believe we need to know about bombs. Of course, we can get them in the marketplace. I believe that's the only thing I've probably not shown you yet. So I'm just going to demonstrate ever so quickly. So marketplace, high slots, bombs. You've got your own dedicated slot here with the anti-drone pulse bombs that everybody's already forgotten about further up ahead. And if we head down, I honestly can't remember where these are. I believe they're in other items, but I'll soon be corrected wrong. Other items, ammunition, and there's all our bombs. This is where you can buy all of the bombs at the moment. And ever so quickly, I'm just going to type in the word bomb into the... I really cannot type. I really cannot type. What I want to see is if we have blueprints for bombs. We're going off on a tangent now, but uh, let's just have a quick look. See if there are blueprints for bombs, which I suspect that there are. Oh, no, no. I am terrible at clicking on things way too quickly. And... Okay, that, that's probably just me being an idiot. We'll soon find out anyway. Let me know in the comments section below, are there blueprints for bombs? Because I really hope they are things that we build. I... I suspect that they are, but I cannot confirm it. But anyway, let's not ramble on too much. I believe I could do an entire video just rambling on about bomb launchers and stealth bombers and how much I like the idea of them. I'm probably going to do a ramble video just dedicated to bombs now that I've done a walkthrough video for bomb launchers. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, I'm going to cut the ramble there. I know I've said that already, but uh, yeah, I will cut it there. Thanks again for watching, everyone. If you want to see more tutorials, walkthroughs, rambles, whatever it may be, this one was a walkthrough, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. And if you've already hit that, like, comment, share the video amongst your friends and fellow capsuleers, whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Fly casual. Have a good one.